Mr. Kersey has a variety of classes that provide students with plenty of opportunities to help explore your creative side. These classes are great for anyone interested in artistic learning or just wanting an overall fun class. We asked Mr. Kersey a few questions about the classes he offers. Here's what he has to say. 11 different classes, uh, two different groups of classes, studio and survey classes. So the studio classes would be drawing one, drawing two, painting one, painting two, intro to 2D, advanced 2D, intro 3D, advanced 3D, and then the survey classes would be uh, visual communications, digital design, and art history. You might be wondering, what's the difference between these classes? Don't worry, I'm already a step ahead of you. Well, the big difference between high school and middle school art is high school art, you can specialize. In middle school art, you kind of do everything. In high school, you get a pick. <clears throat> so if you like to draw, um, we have a drawing class and we do nothing but dry materials, pencils, pens. If you like painting, well, we have a painting class. So we do everything that deals with painting. Um, 2D is kind of like more like your middle school class because we'll do some drawing and we'll also do painting. Anything that's on a two-dimensional surface. And then 3D is going to be 3D. It's going to be clay, sculpture, things that are in the round. Mr. Kersey doesn't just offer studio classes. Let's get into the non-studio classes. Here's Mr. Kersey with more info. Like uh, my, my only class I teach is kind of like a normal class. So there'll be lectures and book work and some research. And art history is the entire scope of when man started making art back in the caves all the way to modern, to modern art of today. Well, I divide um, the class into units or modules and each module is on one specific art period. So for example, when we do Egyptian art, um, we'll learn about Egyptian art from the beginning to the end when the Romans come in. Um, there'll be a, a quiz, just like a normal class. You'll take a quiz, there'll be a test. And then generally after every art period, we'll make something um, that relates back to the art period. So we may do something with hieroglyphs or we might make uh, clay seals. The, when they sealed the tombs of the pharaohs, they had a seal written with their name on it in hieroglyphics. So we might make a seal out of clay. Um, although it's not a studio class, I would be very bored personally if we didn't make something after every period. So digital design is not like the other art classes because we're not going to be using any materials. We're not going to be using paint or clay. It is a virtual class where I specifically teach you how to use the Adobe suite of Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. And um, the whole point of that class is to teach you how to use those three programs effectively and efficiently. So if you like digital design, then you can move on to the next class, which is visual communications. So visual communications is the second part of that two class sandwich. You really need to have digital design first as a prerequisite. And then when you move into digital design, you know how to use the programs and it's a very project based um, class. So the way it's set up, you're like a professional designer and then I'm a client and I give you assignments to do. Um, I have a new restaurant. I need you to make me a flyer to hand out in my city to promote my new restaurant. So you'll use Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign to create that packet to um, publicize my new business. That's one example of an assignment in, in visual communication. Uh, it can be done freshman through senior. Um, it's kind of nice if you're the type of person that likes art, but you're not good at drawing and painting, but you like computers. Digital design is a great way to uh, be able to express that. We'll have to have those particular types of skills. Uh, the only kicker is you really need visual design, visual communication. You really need digital design first before you take visual communications. That way you're not trying to learn the program and do the big project at the same time and you might get, fall behind. In all, Mr. Kersey has 11 different classes that offer a wide variety of types of art. Feel free to add these to your schedules. With WCAT TV News, I'm Katrina Moisson.